just eight days ago, Tectonic rejected a 78% retracement on the Fibonacci levels, making it the longest growth streak ever recorded and just 5% shy of the 50% retracement. How you doing, everybody? Welcome. My name is Oscar Ramos, and by the end of this video, I'm going to tell you the latest on Tectonic's price predictions, analysis, and of course, news that as a Tectonic holder, you don't want to miss. So sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. Like, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells. It's time to talk about tonic token where you're seeing on the screen right now is the price of the one day view chart you're seeing the stochastic rsi the rsi the bollinger bands and of course the price volatility i mean this cryptocurrency has been with us just shy of last year very really late 2021 and of course it dumped really heavily right now it's kind of recovering and guess what while this one at vvs finance from chronos ecosystem were down mmf was up now, MMF is going down, which is expected, but what a tremendous project. VVS still flat and Tectonic at this time is growing nice. The reason why I'm saying that is because I think it's healthy to bring that up since we're talking about the top five, top three protocols on Kronos ecosystem. And you and I know how bullish I am on Kronos. And I believe that what we're doing right now with Tectonic is not going to be waste time, let alone waste of money. So I think we're going to be good for the ride, guys. Now, taking a look at the Tectonic price, what we can tell you right now is that usually when we have this boom momentum, knowing that Bitcoin right now, cryptocurrency are doing really well. There's a lot of this, of course, happening in Congress, in the government, in the world and geopolitical unrest. But at the end of the day, we're doing better, which is great. Well, right now, usually when we have this momentum going on, I think the next 50% retracement on the levels will be reached. That was that will put us at five zeros eleven one. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Knowing that it, that's about four to five percent from here on, and well, I do see us testing that out, right? Knowing that at that level, I'm gonna bring my brush right here. We have this that we experienced at the beginning of February. We have this one, and we have this one. So we don't really have too many points to test that out. Compare that to my horizontal purple line, this one, right, that we have all of these different levels of uh, sideways trading. What does that mean? That I wouldn't be surprised if we, for some reason, come here, touch this resistance, and then come down to this support. I wouldn't be surprised because that means that, well, the price of Tectonic, although low still, we're getting some movements, we're getting some test stumps, we're breaking resistances, coming down to support, and then that's going to allow us to keep going upward. I would love that. I mean, that's just kind of what, what I'm thinking right now for this cryptocurrency, knowing that we're doing well in the cryptocurrency space and having all these charts available for us, knowing that MM Finance is right now dropping, which is surprising, but I mean, I think that's something that we, we wanted, I, I was expecting since it's doing really well with TVL, but of course people want to cash in and make profits. That makes total sense. That also can be applied to Tectonic knowing that it's been eight days since imagine somebody bought, I don't know, $1,000, $10,000, somewhere around here. They might want to cash in sometime soon, not letting that, that you know continue because if they don't do it, somebody else will. And that's how cryptocurrency works. But in my opinion, I think that we still can continue breaking this 50% retracement and continue pushing a little bit more. I would be really surprised to tell you the truth if we pass the all-time high. For some reason, I don't think that's going to happen. Of course, cryptocurrency can always really give us all kinds of surprises. One other thing that that gives me that um, feeling that it's not going to happen because of this volume. Usually, I want to compare it and uh, mix it up a little bit with red um, histogram and green histogram, knowing that that's something more shared and equitable and people are coming, buying and selling. When we have a lot of green bars, it just means that there's just one side in that is playing right now tectonic price. Usually, the other side is waiting, is waiting, is waiting. Once the right time comes in, they were not, sellers are going to come in, dump, te dump te uh, tectonic token, and then just cash in profits. That's what I think that could happen because that's, of course, what happened right, right here. As you can clearly see, you can clearly see the change in pace from red to green, from red to green, from green, uh, from red, 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 and then finally green. So, I mean, this is just another great example, right? That you can tell how people feel, how the market feels, especially for a cryptocurrency that is not even open to many different exchanges. 
Funny thing is how ApeCoin, right, that we've been talking a little bit about, that came into the market and it's open everywhere in a matter of one day. And Tectonic and MMF and other different cryptocurrencies that does have that amazing utility, it's just not, it's just not happening. That tells you how it's not a matter of if the exchange or company can, it's a matter of if they want. And when you have a lot of money, influence, and brand recognition, basically you can do whatever it is you want. Once again, another comparison that I think makes a lot of sense. Now, looking at this, everybody, I see on the error side, the stochastic error side, I mean, we're overbought here. We're almost going to be overbought on the error side if we continue going up. And on the Bollinger Banks right now, we see how we're touching. I'm going to delete here a little bit so you see it better. We're almost touching, of course, the upper band. What does that tell me, guys? Well, I mean, the great momentum right now going on. It could continue, right, like I mentioned, and break this 50% retracement, which that will kind of carry us during the weekend and early next week. I think we continue seeing passing the 10 days with this growth. That will be a massive achievement because, like, I'm, like I've just mentioned at the very beginning, it's been eight days. That's the longest growth streak that we have completed with Tectonic. Oh, boy. When it comes to the news on Tectonic Twitter, there's nothing else just announcing the one billion in supply. So great job on Tectonic. I mean, having half a, half a billion in, in borrowers, that's not bad, too. They haven't said anything. It's not that they have to every single day, but it's pretty cool to kind of check what's going on. You want even more info, Telegram, Discord. I'm, I'm on their Discord checking out what the community is saying. I think that's one of the benefits of belonging into a cryptocurrency project. Uh, when we look at the page, the actual website, well, it's 282 APY. Not bad, to be honest with you. I did it when it was 4,000, as you might uh, probably you watch the video. So 4,000 to 200 and it's been at 200 for the last couple of like four, three days. So it's not bad to be honest with you at 282 right now consistently. I love it. I'll be buying more tectonic. I'll be putting it here and just getting those tectonic. One X tonic equals one tonic. Why not? Of course, I mean, later on, I'll be able to see how much I'm making, which is awesome. Knowing that we're still under the fear and uh, it's been extreme fear, fear. We're coming back to neutral because ApeCoin came and Bitcoin is doing well. Let me show you right now how we are at 1.89. I'm going to refresh this right for you. And wow, we're now at 1.90 trillion at 3.80% in growth. Not bad. ApeCoin is actually continues to grow. Not bad at all. That's great. 40,000 on Bitcoin, almost 3,000 on, on, on Ethereum. The reason why Ethereum is doing well is partially because of the NFT sales right now and ApeCoin classic story. So great job. I mean, that helps everyone at the end of the day. We all want to succeed in crypto. And if one succeeds, uh, succeeds, for example, Bitcoin and Ethereum, I mean, Ethereum has so many ERC20 tokens, so we need them to succeed. So the entire market does really, really well. And when it comes to Kronos on position 18 at 41 cents, Really good, of course, Kronos. That's the reason why we're here because we want that crow to be $1 plus. When we cast to the Kronos news, everybody, and how things are moving on for this awesome ecosystem, the social contributors rate of top of blockchains in the last 24 hours, we can easily see, according to this analysis, that none can really match Kronos when it comes to the socials. And we have Solana, Neur, we have Avalanche, Ethereum, Terra, Phantom. And that is one of the reasons I mentioned, right, that I really like Kronos. I think it's going to be one that is not going to be a waste of time, let alone a waste of money. And that is why I'm putting my money right now where my mouth is. When it comes to the Kronos TVL as in, at, and its unique addresses, we're growing, baby. And of course, I mentioned about the price of MMF Finance that it's dropping. And it actually is coming back up. So that's incredible. MMF Finance, if you don't have it, don't waste any more time. There you guys have it. The price of Tectonic right now is still increasing. I think we're still going to be breaking the 50% retracement. Like I mentioned, we could be down to that purple horizontal line. Uh, and then, of course, target and uh, resist that um, support and then try to come back in as continue moving forward. With 500 trillion circulating supply and with less than six months alive, I wouldn't be rushing this crypto. I'm buying what I can afford losing. I thank you for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, turn on those notification bells, and I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.